Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how you can customize or change this command set or ribbon, whatever you call it, uh, using formatting JSON without writing any single line of code or creating any SharePoint extension or app customizer. So that's we are going to take a look today. And we are going to work with the format JSON for the views. So there, these are uh, general requirements or the general things which I'm going to talk about. Like, uh, for example, we want to just hide this ribbon, uh, probably like a couple of option of sharing this list or maybe like export still we want to have, but we want to hide these automate options for end users because we are going to give this all item views to our my end users. So they might get confused with this command set. So how to limit this, how to hide or how to change the positions of this command set. So that's we are going to take a look in this video. So I'll just open one of my notepad where I have written a bit of JSON that is nothing but like command bar props. So this JSON is actually targeting this command bar props and the command set are these uh, JSON attributes where we can identify our commands on this list. For example, this new added in grid view using this key. So the key is new and the key is added in grid view for this. So consider scenario we want, where we want to hide these two buttons from our list view. So we just need this simple JSON and have that JSON uh, to be placed into our views format JSON option. So I'm just clicking on this all items format current view over here. Just keep choosing that list and go to advanced mode. We can just do a paste and I'll just preview this. You can see that new and this edit in grid view options has been hidden without writing any specific Visual Studio code or any extension. We are doing that with a simple this JSON and it keeps intact as well when you refresh it. So this is how you can hide it. But what if like my requirement to choose uh, is to change the name of new button. So right now I'm into product catalog list. I don't want to hide it, but I want to change the name of my this new button to let's say add product. So if I just directly wish to work with my out of the box list, then I should be giving uh, instead of new button, add a new product option. So I would just go again and choose my this advanced option preview. Now I can see add a product. So you can modify the names of the ribbon, uh, these command sets as well. So I'm just saving it and I'll just change uh, this primaries because this is selected as by default. So I wish to change that from let's say the export option should be uh, available as a primary selection. And I wish to move that add product to a secondary option. So how to do that? How to shift the positions? So for that, I'll just choose this uh, position option. So I'll just say, let, let's say like uh, this, my primary grid, grid would be a primary column or option. And then I'll say true. And over here in this, I'll just move that as position, let's say two, position two. And I'll paste this JSON into the same current view format. And we'll just preview that. So uh, I need to add the comma in the end so that the JSON should be a properly corrected JSON. So right now it's not reflecting and the reason is if I just go to my notepad and I have just used that as capital P. So this is case sensitive, just remember that. And if I just paste it again and preview it, it has started showing up me these options. So you can see like I have this add product shifted to two positions on the right because I have moved that to the two positions right. And I try to make this edit in grid view as this option as primary but because I made that hidden in first place so that's why it's not appearing now if I paste it after making that as primary so added grid views by default selected so you can very well hide the columns you can change the verbiage of that column you can actually uh, change the positions of your uh, this ribbon command set 
and as well as there are a number of uh, different sets which you can actually do with this command set so i'll just you can just go through this uh, microsoft doc where we have the extensive list of command sets available whatever you can uh, do in the command set uh, bar props like new new folder upload download these options you can hide or you can shift the numbering or the position of these command set options so this can be done very easily so this was a quick video to just make you understand just make you familiar how you can use the command sets or the format json to hide the or shift the position of the command set so that is it for today if you have any other question please do drop your comments and do like the video if you like it thank you